All right, hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon are down below if you want to support me, and do so if you actually can. So we're doing a quick video here while birth rates or fertility rates are decreasing in almost every country in the world at this point. There are a number of cases for a few countries where their fertility rates are dropping rather fast and have started doing so rather recently. Most of them starting in the mid or late 2010s. Some of them in just the last few years. Those ones, of course, specifically tied to conflicts, invasions, and civil wars and the like. We're just going to run down through some of the most notable or fastest declining ones. Starting out in South America, Argentina is one of the top contenders. They have just jumped off a cliff starting in starting in the mid-2010s or so, where they were still going down, but really slowly, and they were down around 2.3. However, now over just the last eight years, seven years maybe, they just dove down by an entire 1.05 in that time, from 2.3 down to now only 1.25 children per woman. Their neighbor Chile has gone through a similar dive, just starting from a lower number and ending up at a lower number. They were up at about 1.8 at that same time and have now dropped all the way down under one child per woman to only 0 0.88. They are one of eight countries now that are below a fertility rate of one. Up to the north just a little bit is the island of Cuba. They were at about 1.5 pretty steadily for a long time. However, as you have probably seen off and on in the news over the last number of years and or heard from me if you're usually sticking around the channel. Cuba has internally fallen apart and effectively is just in perpetual permanent blackouts at this point and has constant issues of things just not showing up or being delivered to stores across the island no fuel being delivered to or showing up in the places where you actually can find or get stuff course, the prices for that are up there at the top of Mount Everest. So that has been the driving force behind over a million people fleeing the island over the past few years. The fertility rate has curved over into a steep drop and is now, and is now under one, waiting for some clarity on the specific number, but most likely they're around 0 0.92. Belarus, over the last decade or so, has fallen from the upper ones down to now a flat one child per woman, and thus is, and thus, unless they suddenly start going up out of nowhere, they're going to be going under one next year. Russia had managed to recover their fertility rate up to 1.7. However, then it started making its way down in the later 2010s again. It looked like it was going to stop. But then Russia invaded Ukraine, and everything has kind of spiraled since then, like with everything else internally. And they've dropped down now to 1.09, although it looks like this is where it's stopping for the moment. Although publicly, on their officially published data, Russia insists that their fertility rate has remained exactly 1.41. China was dropping pretty fast. It looks like they're starting to level out here. And they fell from 1.8 down to now 0 0.96. They redacted their numbers after admitting that they had fallen below 1 at the start of this year. And are now insisting that they have not fallen below 1, but have fallen down to exactly 1. Now just down to the southeast, off in the Pacific, the Philippines have taken a massive dive over just the last decade, maybe decade and a half or so, they were up over three before taking this huge drop and are now all the way down to only 1.5. And it actually looks like they're going to end this year below 1.5 children per woman. Ukraine had fallen down from 1.5 to under 1.2 but was climbing back up a little bit, just by a bit, up to above 1.2 again, until the invasion happened, since which, over the preceding three years, 
They have fallen down to under 0.7 children per woman. Another war-induced drop has been Sudan, who was descending as every African nation now is, and they were down at 4.3 children per woman. However, as they erupted into a civil war last year, and that has been going on for over a year and a half, they have since cascaded down very swiftly to 3.57, and that was from earlier in the year, so it is almost certainly even farther down than that by this point. Elsewhere on the continent of Africa, Nigeria is also descending pretty quickly, not as fast as many of the others on this list, but they're just enough as they were descending more gradually. However, about between 8 and 10 years ago, they started tipping over into a much quicker descent. They were at about 5.5 and have descended quickly over these last 8 or 10 years to now, this year, only 4.3 children per woman. And Sri Lanka comes in on the list as well, since they were descending, of course, but since they were descending, of course, but they were up at about 2, 3 years ago or so. And then they have abruptly now nosedived down to 1.4 because of, for those of you who remember 2021, Sri Lanka effectively collapsed. Granted, things did return to normal, so to speak, after a number of months. And the last one that I'll throw on the list for this one is the Czech Republic. They were recovering infertility rate and had gotten decently back up. They were up to about 1.8. However, now, over the last few years, they abruptly just jumped off the ledge and have gone all the way down to now 1.35 as of this year. And with them down, that is the last one. So thank you, everybody, for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. PayPal and Patreon are down there if you want to support me. Only do so if you actually can. There's a link in the description to a Google Drive folder with all kinds of different graphs and charts, like the ones that were in this video. That's all there 24-7 for you to access, and it's free to use as well. There's a link below that to my photography Instagram. There's a link to my cat's YouTube channel in the top and comment. May God bless and protect all of you, and I will see you all around next time.